So let's say you've got a website and you want to add social media sharing and you don't want to have to figure out how to add all the elements and the icons, the logos, the uh, appropriate links to open up the little pop-up box to let people share the content on your web page, the articles or the pages themselves. There's a simple way that you can add social media sharing to any website that you've got. And that's with the Add This uh, plugin. So we have here a page, and I haven't coded anything at all. I've copied and pasted a little bit of code and clicked a few buttons to add this to a page of mine. So we see if I shrink it down here, it gives me the icons across the bottom. If I expand the page, it automatically has responsive design, so it does this for me. So how does this work? Well, pretty simple. I'm looking for this bit of code right here. I'm going to copy and paste this into my web page. That's all I have to do to get this to work. So you would go to the website, addthis.com, and what you want to do is go into the dashboard. Now, if you're logged in, great. If not, you'll have to sign in or sign up, create an account. You can log in with Google or Facebook or Twitter, use any of those credentials to do it, or create an account, like I've got an account of my own here that I created. And... I will log in, convince them that I am not a robot, sign in, and there we are. So this is my dashboard, talks about how many visits, how many shares I've got. It gives you all the statistics as well on which links are being shared from which websites that you're uh, running. So this is in the analytics section of the dashboard. I'm going to go into the tools section. Now the first time you come in here, there's going to be nothing here except for this add a new tool button and a little area like this that says add a new tool. You click on that and it's going to let you create different kinds of promotional buttons. So I did the share buttons. So I'm going to go back to that. This is the first one right here I did the share buttons with. If I wanted to create another one I could do that. Share buttons. You choose the style that you want. Floating or inline. Expanding. So you get the little thing that pops up from the bottom. Uh, if you want something that shows up on an image have the little pop-up like this. If it's the, the banner type up at the top that you can expand or the slider that comes in from the bottom. So let's let's do inline here instead. So while continue, uh, you get choices as to whether or not you want to pick which social media uh, things that you want to have inside of here, which social media buttons, or just go with their default uh, recommendations. You can choose the number of sites to have. So as you increase the number it gives you more options automatically or you can choose more options. There's a few other options in here if you want to change the appearance of these things like rounded corners we can do that so now I've got slightly rounded corners on my buttons so you can play with these options as much as you want. Um, a few other options feel free to go through these and play with them as much as you want. Uh, you can't break anything so go ahead and uh, just play with it. So I clicked on the activate button and then what I'm going to do is I come in here on the code page. There's two views. There's this one where you know they've got some promotional stuff for all these different ones or you can say code only view. Just make it simple. So we can come in here and this is the install code. I copy this. It's got the publication ID this is the ID that's going to change. So when you come into your website, you go down, find the body tag, paste that in there, save it, and then when you look at your web page, here it is, refresh. There we go. There's my share icons that I'm using. So you can play around in the dashboard. You can create multiple tools. So in the tools section, you can turn things on or off. So this is the inline one was on. There we go. I got rid of that one. Now I've got the floating one. Um, A-B tests are when you want to compare two different versions to see which one you're getting more feedback from or more usage from. Um, yeah. So the rest of it's really just playing around with the settings. Uh, there's some other tools inside of here, but you can always go back to get the code. And it's just this snippet right here that you need to add to your web pages. So, hope that helps you out. Um, if you need to quickly and easily add social media sharing to your website, this is the way to do it. Alright, thanks for watching.